Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we are discussing our fifth and final basic principle of training, uh, how to write a workout, right? We need to first understand these five basic principles. The first one we talked about was progression, doing a little bit more. Uh, second one we talked about was overload, doing something that you're not really used to doing. Third was individuality, everybody is different. Fourth was reversibility. So if I stop training, I'm gonna lose my training gains. And fifth and final, and also most important, these are kind of all tied for first place for most important because they, they come into play in every program that you write. Fifth one here is specificity. That means the, the adaptation that I get is specific to the training that I do. So if I, lift really heavy weights, then I'm going to be able to lift heavy things. Um, but if I only deadlift heavy, I'm probably not going to be able to squat nearly as heavy as I can deadlift because I've specifically trained the deadlift. I have not specifically trained the squat. <clears throat> now, this gets really granular, and this is kind of where the art of coaching comes in. Um, you, this stuff isn't really... Uh, painted very well in textbooks or in literature, but you can kind of think what parts of this are the same and what parts are different. <laughs> now, if I'm trying to, you know, train for a marathon, I don't want to just run because my running training is limited by my other fitness uh, abilities. So, for example, uh, if I have to run a marathon for three hours, I need to be able to control the position of my body. Otherwise, I'm going to you know, rip my feet up. I'm going to hurt my knees. I'm going to hurt my feet. I'm going to hurt my hip. I'm going to hurt my back, whatever it may be. I'm not going to be able to maintain a good position for, for force transfer. So what happens is the people who only run eventually hit some sort of roadblock that is usually injury related. But the people who also supplement with some strength training so that their running is better, those people uh, see, see longer term progress over this. So this is the rule of specificity, but also generality. If I'm going to get specific in something, it is very necessary, but I also need to have the foundation upon which I can build. So the, the like easiest programming way to look at this is if I have a, an end date in mind, a goal date, then right, you know, like the half before that, the half of my training block before that, I want to be very specific to the the uh, the event that I am testing, and then before that, it doesn't have to be quite as specific, right? I can do more things that are don't really look like my event, but will make me fitter in general. Now that is a gross oversimplification, and again, the art of this, some sort of experimental science needs to come into play so you understand how the body adapts and who you are training in front of you. So if I want to um, train for a Spartan race, and I have, you know, I've never worked out before. Well, then I can spend a lot of time just getting generally fit, just doing hard workouts that challenge me. And then right up until then, I'm going to have to make sure that I start running because I'm going to have to run a lot during the Spartan race. And I'm going to hope that some of my general training transfers over into the weird obstacles like the crawling or the climbing that I have to do during the Spartan race. Now, if I'm already super fit, if I already do marathons and I want to do a Spartan race, then I can kind of run the whole time because I like running and I'm good at running. Um, but I might want to spend more time on training some of these events. So if I know I'm going to climb a cargo net, I might, you know, I might try to find a cargo net to climb. Uh, if I can't find one, a good, still kind of specific, not quite the same, but still kind of specific thing, I could go to an indoor climbing facility and do some bouldering and just, you know, teach my upper and lower limbs how to coordinate together. Um, specificity takes a lot of faces. It is... Uh, the principle with no name. <laughs> um, 
let's do a recap. So, uh, number one, progression. Number two, overload. Number three, individuality. Number four, reversibility. And number five, specificity. Make sure you're keeping those in mind when you write your own workouts.